going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's five some nose, baby. It's take five some nose. Today, we've got 25 PC mods and testing. We got 15 console mods and testing. With all those 19 mods were released today. Also released today was a new DLC. A2 Studios got a new version of his 48-foot trailer. Call Farms AFS Steiger is with Giants for testing. Agritono have new screenshots of their UTV. Connect Mining are working on a new case sprayer. JV3D's new tractor is done. Said Mining shows off progress for the headers on the John Deere X9. FSH Mining have a new fact sheet for us. JHHG Mining shows progress on his DB90s. JA Mining has a new mod, but what is it? Let's Lancey Boy talks about the update to Oak Hill. Plus, White Bull Mining have another new screenshot from their new map, Richport. Let's check it out. It's SC4 PC. We have the Big Seed Palette, 450 kilowatt biogas plant, Case IH 1830, plus Crop Sensor, Italian Auger Wagon Pack, Joskin 1900 D, Kroger MUK 303, Cavernland UN 7655, Lizard 3000, Lizard Kill Us R, Lizard KS 100, Lizard Pack, Lizard Wide Front Wheels, Lumberjack, Medium Hall, Obermark Dorf, Office Building, Old Garage, Old Hessian Barn, Old Polish House, Pack Lizard Cannonball, Petite France, Self Made Weight Pack, Stair Gutty, and Transport Trailer MD. It's SD4 consoles. We have the Amazon ZGB, Bucks County PA, Cow Shed, Decompactor Drago, Dutch Colony, Beyond 180 Brazil, German Gas Station, Ducto Coral 2000L, Linder Unitrack Pack, No Man's Land, Racking Storage, Small Trailer, Star Reboak 5000, Oak Hill, and Wither Farm Shed Pack. With all that being said we still have 135 mods sitting waiting to be tested and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is up to five work days with all that being said 19 new and updated mods were released today on the in-game mod hub i've already made a video showing these off in detail you can find that video linked in the description below today the grimmy equipment pack dlc was released for all platforms your potato specialized fleet of machines is here made by pepe978 at team fsi modding the official grimmy equipment pack is available now for all platforms in cooperation with giant software and the company grimmy themselves this is available for pc mac playstation xbox and even google stadia if you play on there i will have this downloaded on google stadia just in case as i've been keeping up with that this is a third party dlc so do keep that in mind some of the proceeds will go to support uh, pepe 978 and team fsi so if you want to purchase that we'll have a link below for pc players if you're on console you can find these listed uh, on your respective playstation or xbox game stores I made a video on how to download this on console so whether you're on playstation or xbox you'll be able to download those just fine of course google stadia is going to be located there and if you're on pc whether you're on steam or epic you'll be able to find it there and if you're on the giants version of this you'll be able to download this from the giants website itself if you're on pc you want to download it support the channel and support pepe 978 and team fsi we'll have a download link in the description below a lot of you guys have been asking about oxygen david and today we finally hear from him i was actually uploading this video already decided to, to take it down to add this bit in he says he has decided not to send any more mods to Giants Mod Hub for testing. He would like to respectfully ask that you do not join the Giants forum or Discord to cause trouble or cause any problems in his name. He says if you have genuine concerns, please do that in a constructive manner only. He would like to thank the community who have supported him and appreciated his mods uh, and means a lot to him. He would also like to apologize to the many console players who have supported him. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to make content for consoles because you have to send those through ModHub in order to do that. He's read everybody's messages and is overwhelmed with the support that the community has given him. He says for now, he's going to be taking some time off to decide what to do next. A couple days ago, we were live streaming with 8-2 Studio showing off the new DLC and we were trying to load up things inside of one of his trailers and we were having a hard time because, well, you can't open the sides. So what did he do? Well, he went and made one. Of course he did. Why not? So you can see here, we've got some pictures. This is from Derp, so Derp Lodactyl. Um, he has taken these photos, which look absolutely amazing. And you can see the sides of the trailer actually open up. So you can load in bells or load in whatever you want. Carl Farm says his Case IH AFS Connect Steiger Series console version has been submitted to mod up for testing officially. It says thanks to all contributed to this mod, especially KMN modding is a good portion of the work on this. As far as what they've done, the Steiger rims, wheel configurations, narrow frame front end, quad track wheel weights, model or wheel models, weights, 
and rear drawbar. Custom awning was in here as well, but the Lizard or Firestone Deep Tread tires at Goodyear LSW wheels. Oh yeah, we gonna get them on here. Also, Julian M. Monning did the interior console model and Sid Monning as well with the interior radio model and the AFS module model. PC version is still in progress and will be released shortly off after the mono version is released. Uh, the versions that we're seeing now are the PC version. The console version is going to look very, very similar. Yesterday, we talked about a new UTV that Agratona was working on, and today we get a few more screenshots of it. Today, they say some more prints of the BMS The Beast 1000. Says the chassis and wheel supports will still be changed on this, so do keep that in mind. And you can see they've added a new light bar on the top with 4x4 in it. Oh, I love it. A couple weeks ago, we announced that Connect Mining had a new partnership with Case IH South America. Here, you can see their Case IH self-propelled sprayer taking shape. Connect Mining also have a new fact sheet for us today in combination with FBT Mining. They present to us the 3DR Plow. This is going to be a brand new plow for all platforms. This is going to cost you $10,000 as 18 kilometer per hour max working speed or somewhere around 10 to 12 miles per hour. And it will cross 78 horsepower. You're going to be able to change up a few different things on here as well. JV3D Monix says another finished project, the tractor CBT 8060. Very happy with the final result and honored to make a tractor that marked the Brazilian agriculture the suit or download. For those of you that were asking if Sid Monning would be making some headers to go along with his 2020 John Deere X9 Combine, well, that answer is yes. Here you can see that he has started work on the John Deere HD50R header. Says he's planning on a completion period by the end of the month, and he plans on doing the HD45R and the 40R versions as well. FSH Monning show off a new model coming with the Sun Cut Pack that they're working on. These are the 676 and Trailer. You're going to cost you $7,003 or $4,000 and $4, respectively. It's going to require 130 horsepower if working with the 4.7 meters at 10 kilometers or 6 miles per hour and be able to use this with some of the smaller combines that we have in game. JHHG Monning updates this today on the progress of his John Deere DB90 36 row 30 inch 2004 model year for PC, Mac, PlayStation, and Xbox. They say this is going to be their next project and it is in game owned with all the standards and features just like the previous DB Planter said. So now you can see all the details in the light of the game and of course, all the vacuum and hydraulic dynamic hoses, which are loaded by XML programming and scripting, which is even more console friendly, which is great. Let's also take a look at the last things on here from realistic refilling action and seed fertilizer bags, separated fill volumes, rotatable seed boxes, covers, and additional dry fertilizer boxes on the Match Max Emerge Plus row units. There, even greater realism. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Speaking of planters, J.A. Monning seems to be working on something new, and a lot of people are saying maybe a 61-line chassis, possibly another DB90, saying it looks similar to a DB90 frame. But what do you think? Obviously, J.A. Monning makes a lot of John Deere uh, implements, and I don't think this is going to be much different. But I have no idea what this is. What do you think it is? As you saw, Oak Hill is currently in testing right now for console players. And as we talked about a few days ago, this is going to fix the issue with the density hypes. So there was an issue with the mod. Well, don't worry, that has been fixed and submitted. That is the update that is in current testing right now. They are still working on the PC version, adding features and things like that. Said hopefully that'll be done in the next couple weeks. And lastly today, White Bull Mining says a daily dose of Richport coming right at you. With this one, you can see a big, what looks to be a big red cow shed. You can see the manure pit on the outside. You've got some nice trees around. Looks like we're standing in the middle of a garden. Beautiful landscape all the way around. And we've even got a windmill there on the right-hand side. This is a very exciting map because it is by some very, very great map creators. White Bull Mining, they make a lot of maps. A lot of mods, everything they do is phenomenal. So to have them doing something as important, at least to the community here, as in the USA map, well, I'm honored. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. And you know what's not fun? The end of these videos! Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There are no release dates for mods that myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, 
That just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be Zep. Hope you have a great day. We will see you. All right, pray for me, guys. I got a dentist appointment today, and I'm not looking forward to it.